Good morning, good evening, good afternoon my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm excited about these episodes that we're doing in the past uh, seven, eight or so episodes. We've been talking about apathy. The general topic here is how apathy is the greatest enemy of purpose pursuit after ignorance in other words after light has come into your life after realization has come we normally say oh education is the key you know and all that stuff and so on but the education comes and the information comes and knowledge comes and insight comes and revelation comes but we don't change why because we allow a window of opportunity for apathy to fester apathy to come into our lives and that's what we're discussing in this uh, series but we have started looking at what we can use to fight the spirit of apathy out of our lives and we've already done three of them today let us look at the fourth thing that you and i can do so that we can fight apathy believe me we are all susceptible to this thing called apathy and in fact at some point in time all of us have succumbed to apathy before so let us look how we can fight it again today stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let me help you by doing a recap for you. The first arsenal that we have deployed for fighting the spirit of apathy out of our lives is to know that we are susceptible to it. That information, that realization that we are susceptible to it makes us to be all alert, makes us to be circumspect, makes us to expect to have apathy come into our lives and to be forewarned is now to be forearmed. The second realization or the second arsenal that we are using, and we said it, actually it's summarized, we say that you need to know and realize that momentum is your greatest friend. When you have momentum in your life, there is no room for apathy. Apathy finds room in inactivity where there is nothing happening apathy sets itself cozy and starts permeating and starts you know feeling everything and start occupying spaces and starts growing and start suffocating any action that can be taken apathy takes over start making the room dense start making the room to become stuffy and starts making you to suffocate and i know i'm using that as an analogy Therefore, if you wanted to kill apathy, even when you are stuffed, even when you have been stagnant and so on, if you wanted to kill apathy, forget about how you're feeling. Just go for momentum. Doesn't matter how you're feeling. It is not a matter of feelings. It is a matter of momentum. I know you might not be feeling like you want to hug your wife or you want to hug your spouse and to hug your husband. Okay? Do it anyway. Today. I know tomorrow you will not feel like you want to talk to them and so on. Break the ice. Do it. Let momentum be your friend. Because if you welcome inactivity in your life, you have opened the door for apathy to come and dwell. And where we've spoken about this in the previous episodes, where there is apathy, believe me, there is death. P. 
period. You might not see the death physically, but there is a spiritual death. Apathy always accompanies itself with spiritual death. And I'm not talking about religion here. Marriage is a spiritual institution. Organizations are spiritual institutions. Where there is apathy in any institution, there is spiritual death. And the thing that is going to help you to fight that is momentum. Yesterday we said, number three, if you are fighting apathy, make sure that immediately new information has come in. New instruction has come in immediately. Make sure you have set a schedule and a plan to take action with this new information that has come into your life. You might be in a place where there is inspiration and this inspiration tells you out of the blue. It gives you a title of a book that you're supposed to write. What do you do? Sit down and schedule when you are going to start the book writing process. The next step must be scheduled and plan for it. That's what we said you're supposed to do immediately. And then number four today, Tony Robbins told us something very powerful. He said, every time you are in a decision-making moment, make sure that you immediately take action. I am not talking about planning. We talked about planning yesterday. Planning is not taking action. Let us make that disconnect as early as possible. Me sitting down to plan that I'm going to write a book is different from me writing a book. Even though the planning is absolutely critical, it's like the bridge. It's like the umbilical cord between the the concept of me writing a book and actually writing the book. The umbilical cord is absolutely critical. But don't be fooled to have a very long umbilical cord so that you don't get into the mode of taking action. In other words, what am I saying? Number four. Create the shortest interval of time possible, if it's days or if it's minutes, between the plan and the action. And take the action immediately. Because we said, apathy doesn't need a lot of time. If you ask me, apathy only needs microseconds to work few moments for apathy to set in microseconds in in, it is in a matter of minutes actually it's in a matter of a minute for you to determine to do something or not if someone does something wrong it is in a matter of minutes for you to either respond or to react and those two are always within your control The same thing with apathy. It is in a matter of minutes and microseconds in the mind, in the realm of the spirit, and even in your mind, in your metaphysics, it is in a matter of moments that you can be able to take a definite plan or a definite action. Or for apathy to start festering. So number four, what do you do? Once you have made a plan, take immediate action and i can add take the next step take as much as three steps remember the planning the umbilical cord create as many action steps that you can be able to take and number four take the action immediately start moving start moving with it start going with it don't wait I know for me sometimes I have this moment of just I want to suffer this moment, this new revelation. I just want to suffer it. And so instead of typing away, I am uh, buying some time. I'm kind of, I don't know how I can call it. It's not not procrastination. I'm going to do it, yes, but I I, I walk around, you know. I, I, I just don't bring myself to settle down and do. I walk around and, you know, I feel good about it. I go to my phone, I scroll and so on and so forth. But number four, immediately 
take action when you have received revelation you have planned don't wait too long tony robbins says when you've made a decision in the moment of decision making but trace that decision with immediate action otherwise we all have good intentions do you find that saying that the road to where to hell is paved with good intentions you know where these good intentions come from they come from revelation inspiration motivation new information instruction all these things that's why we are living today in the most illuminated world with a lot of information at the click of a button but people are still struggling why because there is no scheduled immediate action that is taken when new information comes we just sit on it and we continue doing what we've always been doing nothing happens apathy sets in and before you know it the new inspiration the new information is just you've discovered what your purpose is but you have done nothing about it now apathy is taking over and you feel like uh, these things of purpose don't even work they don't work because you've not taken momentum you've not taken action you've not planned you're not moving that's why it's not working you think it works purpose doesn't work you do i do if i don't work purpose doesn't work that's just as simple as it gets so tomorrow we're going to continue talking about this how we can fight the enemy called apathy But until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.